You are looking at the first ever recipient in Miami-Dade County to receive the world's smallest pacemaker. 78-year-old Felipe Final of Hialeah says a new revolutionary pacemaker recharged his life. I couldn't do household chores. I couldn't make coffee or walk without breathing hard. I would faint easily. My body couldn't take it anymore. So he turned to Dr. Ivan Mendoza from Jackson South Community Hospital for the answers. This is the first time that we, we don't have to rely on cables in order to, to produce an impulse to propagate in the heart. This is just with this little, the size of a capsule, produce the depolarization of the heart. I'm happy because my patients are very, very happy to be part of uh, this new technology and also very glad to help our patients with procedure that uh, we know has a long battle life. The the size of a small paperclip, the device is known as the Micro TPS, is designed to treat slow and irregular heartbeats, and it was recently approved by the Food and Drug Administration. I was stiff and almost died on my first open heart surgery. I was worried, but I knew this was needed so I could have another chance at life. Final had the heart problems due to a car crash that almost ended his life. Now he suffers from bradycardia, a condition which causes his pulse to fall below the normal rate of 60 to 100 beats per second. Before the accident, he was very active traveling the world with his wife, daughter, and family. We normally we'll keep the patient for four hours in our holding area, and most of the cases they actually can go home walking. After that, they will not have any restrictions. They will not have any wounds or incisions because this is placed via a vein and they are also can have CT scans or MRI because these pacemakers MRI safe. Final surgery was successful. Now he could smell the roses and not worry about the device for the next 10 years. For Hialeah TV 77, this has been Elizabeth Nickerson.